Welcome to Sports Illustrated's Experts Quarter. I'm Andrew Perloff, and we're talking NFL Draft. Today we're going to talk about three overrated NFL draft prospects, starting with Memphis defensive tackle Dontari Poe. Now, Poe came out of nowhere at the NFL Scouting Combine and ran a 4.940. That's pretty impressive for a huge man, and teams noticed. But now we're seeing him top 10. He was not a dominant force at Memphis. And if you can't dominate in Conference USA, you're not going to dominate in the NFL. I think this is a classic workout wonder, and I think he'll fall a little bit come draft day. Let's look at Boston College linebacker Luke Keekley. Now you're seeing him in mock drafts anywhere from 10 to 15. This is common for an inside linebacker to go higher in mock drafts than you actually see him on draft day. Gets a lot of attention in college, a lot of tackles, but tacklers are a dime a dozen in the NFL and inside linebackers often fall. It's all about rushing the quarterback. And guess how many sacks Keekley had in 2011? Zero. So I don't think teams are looking for that particular skill set that high in the draft. Let's move on to Notre Dame wide receiver Michael Floyd. Let's face it, football writers love Notre Dame products. They're always slotted too high, and I think Floyd is a classic example. Yes, he runs very well, and he's big and tall, and he looks like a great receiver, but I don't think you saw that production on game tape. You don't see the separation you want out of an elite receiver. Floyd's a legit bottom of the first round prospect, maybe top of the second round, but you're seeing him as high as number eight to the Dolphins. He will not produce like a number eight overall pick. 